Hi everyone, my name is Jofi Mayor. I work at Parity Technologies as Hackathon Manager in the Developer Relations team. And I am here to talk about some of the opportunities that you can find in the Polkadot ecosystem to learn or to help with your onboarding process uh, to Polkadot and Substrate. I am very sorry that I cannot be there in person with you, um, but I'm excited to be part of the meetup, at least this way in the metaverse. All right, so let's start. Um, regardless if you're new to Substrate or Polkadot in general, you will hopefully want to learn uh, and grow your knowledge. Um, at Parity and also at the Web3 Foundation in general, we're always working on creating new opportunities for people to learn about the technology and the whole ecosystem surrounding Polkadot, which is changing every day. It's a very vivid space right now. Um, we all know and understand that uh, onboarding to Substrate may be sometimes challenging. Um, this is why we are always looking for new ways to educate those who are new joiners or also um, entertain those who already know some about the technology. I uh, really hope that you will get to find something uh, useful and interesting in the following slides. Um, if you have any questions, I included my contact information on the very last slide. So yeah, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or comments or thoughts. But let's uh, dive deep into uh, ways you can learn. Uh, the first is, of course, I have to talk about hackathons. Um, I may be a bit biased because I'm a hackathon manager, but I find hackathons to be one of the best ways to start your uh, journey in the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, hackathons combine the learning experience with the winning as well. And um, of course, everybody likes to win. Um, if you don't know what hackathons are, these are virtual or in-person events um, where you get to build a project and hopefully win a prize. At the hackathon, uh, last edition of our hackathon that we did uh, in like the North American region, um, we uh, had over 18 uh, ecosystem teams as well who participated. So it was not only learning about Polkadot, but also uh, learning about the technologies that the ecosystem teams uh, work with. Um, together with them, we did over 30 workshops um, for entry level and advanced developers as well. And uh, we also had mentor hours where participants could ask directly from uh, an expert uh, that um, could help them with their projects. And, some cases, uh, some knowledge may be required, but in general, um, you should have the time to learn from scratch if you don't know anything about Polkadot or Substrate uh, yet, or Rust maybe. Um, but yeah, I think for hackathons are a very nice way to, to join and uh, start learning about the Polkadot ecosystem. Um, of course, it's about like winning, probably for most, but um, it's not just about winning money, but also experience and you get to find a team and build a team and uh, build your project together with them. And by the end of the hackathon, if you have a project, um, you may win, but also you will have uh, opportunities to join boot camps or dev camps um, or uh, similar programs or find, for example, investments if you're um, able to uh, get there. Um, so yeah, these events are uh, mostly virtual um, and uh, they sometimes focus on specific regions, but you should be able to uh, join from any parts of the world. Um, at the moment, uh, there is one virtual hackathon going on in the Latin American uh, region organized by the community there, but also globally. Uh, we as Polkadot also participate at a bunch of other hackathons where uh, if you have a good idea and uh, it aligns with the theme of the hackathon, you get to join and you get to win. Um, and I know that more events are coming, especially uh, in 2023, so stay tuned. Um, but if you are not uh, just uh, starting or if you would like to dive deeper into Polkadot and Substrate, I totally recommend joining a, a Polkadot Def Camp. Um, we are uh, launching the second intake uh, in uh, November. Uh, the subscription for it is already open. Uh, Polkadot Dev Camps are online. Um, this is a live coding bootcamp uh, for those who want to get started and dive deeper into Polkadot and Substrate, but it's also an interesting way for uh, those who are non-blockchain uh, developers um, to come and learn. 
there are uh, awesome topics, for example, how to use Rust to develop a substrate, or uh, how is uh, Polkadot and Perchain development working, uh, configuration topics, and of course, XDM2. Mm, this is a free event, uh, but seats are limited, so there are only 20 available. Um, but I really recommend to try it. If you get in, you get to talk to a lot of Polkadot experts and meet other developers too. Um, so yeah, I recommend to give it a try. If you would like to get familiar with community members as well and learn in the meantime, I uh, recommend to take a look at Polkadot Pathways. It's a sort of learn and earn platform uh, with different types of challenges where you get to earn points and learn a lot about Substrate. Um, in the meantime, the community is active there as well. Um, there are forum posts um, and a lot of uh, exciting uh, challenges. When uh, we launch a special event, sometimes you can find a rel related campaigns there, uh, just like we did with the North America Hackathon. So it's totally worth to uh, check back regularly. If you're curious to hear about more technical topics um, and uh, would like to mix the technology talks with uh, getting to know the community, uh, check a, take a look at Substrate Stack Exchange, which is um, a coding platform uh, or basically a stack exchange platform uh, about uh, Substrate and Polkadot. And um, yeah, this is a question and answer site, just like any other stack exchange pages. Uh, but this is specifically for developers building blockchains with the Substrate SDK. Um, you can sign up and you can uh, go into discussions with the folks there. I uh, know many of my colleagues actually show up there from time to time. So yeah, it's a nice way to uh, get into discussions with them. But if you're interested in the contribution and uh, to be involved with the community, there are also many ways. Um, Polkadot is a 100% uh, open source project and it's created to enable a decentralized web and a better society. Anyone can contribute. And um, I think that this is a very nice way to do that, um, to join and learn and understand more about how it goes. Um, from running a validator on Polkadot to applying for a Web3 Foundation grant or join the Polkadot Ambassador program, there are many ways to engage with the Polkadot community. You don't have to be a developer to uh, be part of the community and do a meaningful uh, work. One of the uh, nice ways uh, is to join the Ambassador program, which is one of the cores of the Polkadot community. Um, there are three stages that if you apply uh, to be an ambassador, uh, you get there. Uh, you start with being a candidate and then ambassador and then head ambassador. Uh, one thing is important to note here that this is not specifically a developer program. So anybody with an interest in Polkadot is encouraged to join. Um, the general goal is to actively contribute to the success of Polkadot. Um, we have over 2000 members from over 65 um, uh, countries. So uh, you can find a bunch of local ambassadors as well and, and you get to talk to them. Um, but you, as an ambassador, will get to share your knowledge and expertise, learn new skills, uh, potentially, I don't know, get deeper into uh, discussions. You can get to be the voice of the community as well. Um, there are a lot of working groups uh, around uh, development, events, uh, localization, community uh, topics, uh, content, for example, or advocacy as well. So whatever you find interesting to contribute in, you are certainly, certainly welcome. One of the awesome ways in community is that um, you get to uh, enjoy community funds as well, which is the on-chain treasury. It's a pot of funds collected through a portion of uh, block production rewards or transaction fees or staking inefficiencies, etc. cetera. Um, the way it works is that you have an idea that you would like to work on. You can submit a proposal um, to the uh, treasury um, and uh, there's a council who's going to uh, take a look at it. Uh, members will uh, comment on it. And then if it gets approved, then you get to get the funds and, and work on your project. We have colleagues um, and uh, team members who are actually able to help with uh, you putting together a very awesome proposal. 
Um, and yeah, you get to uh, spend it on, I don't know, infrastructure deployment or uh, ecosystem uh, work or marketing activities or community uh, events, for example, or outreach um, or software development, like developing a wallet or a wallet integration or uh, stuff like that. So it's a very, very nice way to um, use the community well. Um, I absolutely recommend to uh, to take a look at the website. It's very interesting to see uh, the other proposals as well and uh, see the discussions going there. Um, yeah, take a look. Um, if you are interested in uh, hearing about Polkadot and learn about Polkadot, there are a bunch of events. Um, you probably heard uh, about Polkadot Decoded that uh, happened this summer in four cities in New York, Berlin, Buenos Aires, and Hangzhou. Um, I believe there will be an next edition next year, so keep an eye out. Uh, but what's coming up next is uh, one of our big events, Sub-Zero, which is specifically um, for the Substrate developers. It's going to take place in Lisbon on the 28th and 29th of uh, November. And it's going to be very fun. I uh, have heard about some ideas and plans. Um, you should uh, apply on the website and uh, I really hope I get to see you there. Besides these big events, there are a bunch of meetups all around the world, like this one in person or virtually in the metaverse. Um, it's one of the best ways uh, to do some networking and get to meet others in the community, uh, to talk about the technology, maybe get jobs or, or something similar. Um, yeah, so there are many ways to connect with Polkadot, to connect with us. I really hope that you will find the best program or best event that's um, working out. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out. There are plenty more to come. If you have any questions or anything that you would like to hear more about or thoughts or comments, you can find me on Twitter, on LinkedIn, or on Discord as well, on our Discord server. So please feel free to reach out. And yeah, thank you very much for having me and have a great evening.